Hi, my name is Claire Callanan and I completed the Culture and Heritage Studies course in Gloucester de Fonefa uh, from September 2018 to May 2019. Uh, I had previously worked for most of my life. Um, I spent 38 years working in the bank and uh, finished in September of 2018 and thought I should immediately do something so as not to get lazy at home. Um, a friend of mine had completed the Culture and Heritage course and recommended it to me. So I met with Shane and Tim who explained the content of the course and told me that I wouldn't regret my decision. So the course started um, in September, as I said. Uh, we studied folklore, I think, which was everyone's favourite. Um, Shane was our uh, lecturer and he's absolutely fantastic. So we had folklore, we did local history with uh, Tim Murphy, which again was um, a revelation. I was particularly apprehensive about studying history as I had hated history going to school. Um, but Tim uh, opened our eyes, I suppose, about Irish history, which was brilliant. And I have continued to have an interest in history. I'd regularly visit museums and watch historical programs, which I would never have done before. We also studied archaeology. Um, we did word processing. Um, some work experience and communications. The work processing, again, was something we thought we all knew about, having worked with computers probably for uh, over 30 years. But um, we learned all sorts of new things that would have been so useful to us in our previous careers. I was in a class of mature students, uh, obviously enough. Um, there were about 18 mature students in our class. And in addition, there were a class of younger students, which were called the young ones, obviously. Um, and the young students were mainly, I suppose, aged 18 to kind of 25. And many of them hoping to go on to college, many of them just trying to find their way in life. Um, the course was absolutely fantastic for them. We could see them growing in confidence throughout the year. And the encouragement they got from Shane and Tim helped them hugely uh, to develop themselves over the course of the year. And indeed, I believe many of them have gone on to study in UCC and in CIT. Uh, we completed weekly field trips while we were um, in Colossus de Fonefer, usually on a Wednesday. We visited many of the historic sites around Cork and culture and heritage sites, obviously. Um, I've, I'm from Cork and have worked, lived here all my life, but had never visited any of the sites. And it was indeed a privilege to be able to visit them under the tutorship of Shane, um, who was just such a mine of information and uh, encouraged everyone so much to continue their interest in the culture and heritage industry. We visited places like the Crawford Gallery, the English Market, the Nan O'Neill Centre, Blarney Castle. As I said, places that I should have been visiting over the years but had never just got about it. And the fact that we were being given um, such a huge, being, sharing, Shane was sharing his huge knowledge with us made it absolutely fantastic. We also did um, some event planning while we were there. We organised things like a sale of work for the cash, the annual cash in the attic sale for fundraising. Um, and this was done with the, the two groups, so the younger group and the older group went together. So there was great learning from both sides. Um, we also organised a table quiz and we organised an end of year um, exhibition and ours was a letter writing exhibition and again young and old worked together and it, it was great to see everyone sharing their skills. Um, we did two uh, longer field trips during our year, our year where we stayed overnight. We visited the Hill of Tara and Newgrange, the museums in Dublin and Collins Barracks and Kildare Street. And we also visited the High Crosses. Again, these were places I had read about, never thought I would get to see them all in the one few days. 
and get to see them and be having our own personal tour guide who is just such a mine of information, um, Shane. So it, it really was wonderful. And the course has, I've developed lifelong friendships, I suppose, through the course um, and still meet up with these people. Uh, we've gone on to organise our own little mini um, tours. Not sure that they would be anywhere near Shane's standard, but it keeps the, the interest going. Um, I'm hugely interested in cor- culture and heritage and everywhere I go now, my husband is saying, do we have to stop at every sign? <laughs> Um, but it keeps me going. I'd have no hesitation in recommending the Culture and Heritage course to anyone, uh, young or old. In fact, I think it possibly should be mandatory. Um, it is such a wonderful year. You learn so much. It encourages you to continue learning and develop fantastic friendships and couldn't recommend uh, Shane highly enough. So Shane, thank you again for a wonderful year.